Hit it. Yeah. Easy, and then we just take reverse the lights work. Take. And then take that one, and then the camera will work. Yeah, for the reverse camera. Yep. Because we just got that in. All right, you ready to test this out? Yep. Oh, what's whoa, up whoa, with that? Whoa, whoa. What's up with that? Whoa. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Is there a battery it's, just running it's low? It's kind of working, maybe. Maybe that battery could be running low. There you go. What's up? <laughs> First camera's working. That's tight. I think we're... Oh. <gasps> It still has like the little we're, plastic film over it too, so it probably we're rolling. won't look that good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up Kyle? What's up? Not much. This is cool. That's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm over at PFI right now and Brent helped me get the reverse lights working on the minivan. Uh, we have not had them wired up the whole time we did this swap. So uh, I wasn't really sure how to do it because it had the automatic transmission in there. So it doesn't just have the typical little two wire plug like the manual transmission does. And uh, he pulled up this wiring diagram right here which made it really easy for us to find where all that stuff is. It's uh, a relay located under the dash uh, which controls the reverse lights. So using this diagram that he has right here, uh, we were able to find that. And then from there it was really easy to wire those in. It's just... Uh, Grounding one of the existing wires on the manual reverse light switch right here on the manual transmission You just ground one of those wires and then we just ran the other wire going into the relay so Pretty straightforward the reverse lights work now, and then we were also able to hook up the uh, reverse camera for the Stereo right here, so it is being a little weird right now because it's not sharing like the same ground as the car So it kind of comes on and off, but once I get it like fully wired in I think it should be fine But if you put it in reverse reverse camera comes on and it's just right here on the dash right now So I still have to run that to the back But uh, yeah, we got that all working and I think I already showed it, but the reverse lights work now So that's nice to have that working. So now people actually know when I'm backing up. Yeah Finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was just over at PFI and Brent helped me get the reverse lights working in the minivan. Um, I was also then able to start installing the reverse camera. I did get it hung up, but uh, it's not all the way ran yet, but it is in position. I know you guys really don't care about that, but we got the reverse camera hung up there. I still just got to get it wired in. And uh, right now we're going to be taking the minivan to a car meet. And yeah, just have some fun. The tires are still really sketch. So we swapped the front tires to the back because the ones that were on the back were brand new. So we put those up front. So if we do get into any boost and we start spinning them, we're not going to blow out that one tire that has some secondary rubber showing. It's really not that bad. I've definitely drove on some sketchier tires and anyone getting in the van tonight is going to know uh, the risks they're getting into. But we're going to probably take it easy on the van tonight just because that one back tire is pretty sketch. But uh, there's no cords or anything showing, but it is really bald. So uh, yeah, we're gonna head out right now to the meet and uh, see where the night goes. What? The boy of oh, million. Yeah, nice and warm in here. Yeah, it's nice toasty, clean, man. Huh? Nice and clean too. It smells good in here. Yeah, bro, I should put the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> People flipping. Just came up to the meet. It's pretty packed. Already a lot of people recognizing us. Yeah. It's not very sleeper over here. Minivans are cool. 
cool guys. You guys need to get one. This one just happened. <laughs> get in there. Hey man, this shit is comfortable, bro. Let's go smoke some fucking Evo. <laughs> hey. Yeah, so, so we got to go We got how accurate is it? Oh, yeah, it's really very accurate. Yeah, it's really too good. You're gonna have to shift the whole thing turns yellow when you need to shift light. Are the airbags still in? Yeah. Okay, good. At least we can still make it alive. <laughs> <laughs> So we got back in the van last night from the meet. Uh, we didn't really do any pools or anything like that. There was a lot of cops out and uh, the tires are still really sketch. So we just went, had fun, just kind of talked to everybody, let people check out the van. And uh, it was a good time. A lot of people got to see the van and we didn't break down. So it was a good night. And then it is now the following day and we really didn't get too much done today. Jeremy's been working on his head for the, for the Civic, for his EK but we'll get into more of that tomorrow because I think we're gonna start tearing into his car here pretty soon. But uh, I've been just installing the reverse camera on the van. So I've been fighting this thing for like a good two, three hours, dude. Just running the wires was such a pain. But I finally got it figured out, so we got the little reverse camera on there. And I know you guys probably don't care about this, but I figured I'd show you. And I got the wires ran through for it right here. This is as clean as I could get it because there's like no way to run it through this little harness right here because this is all like seam welded together so there's no way to really get to that at least not that I could tell so it still looks good I just ran the wires all the way through um, actually I ran them up through here like on this trim up top and then by the time it gets to the passenger door then it goes down and then on the on the little foot panel and then you know up and behind the radio so got all that working so a big thanks to Brent because without having the reverse lights working I wouldn't have, would not have been able to wire that in so as you guys can see, we got the radio right here. And if we put her in reverse, it goes to the rear view camera. We got Jeremy back there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, works good. Then we pop it out of gear, the rear view camera stops working. I think it would be pretty cool if we like toggled the camera to like a switch or something so then we could uh, like flip it and look behind us if we're racing like oh, see yeah, who's behind be us cool. Then I don't know if there's like a way to program the radio, but be like be like objects on the screen are losing or something like that That'd be kind of funny But for now, it's just gonna be hooked up to the reverse and work as a normal reverse camera so over like the last three days pretty much just been working on the van and You know haven't been doing too much. I know some of you guys also want to see a update on the shopping cart go-kart so I will be probably doing that here pretty soon as well. I can give you guys a really brief update of what I'm gonna be doing next on it. I still need to mount the battery on this thing and uh, fix the gas tank because after that one day I drove it and the gas tank broke off, I have still not fixed it since that day. So this thing needs some love. It's been sitting for a while. And also it spills some battery acid on the metal right here so that's all crusty. So I might get a new battery because uh, if you guys have watched the videos of this thing, the battery has fallen off like I don't know how many times so now it's all beat up. So. Yeah, I wanna make a plate, get the battery mounted, get the gas tank mounted, and then I know you guys really wanna see this thing get turboed. So that's probably something I will be doing in the future, but for now our focus is gonna be on the cars. So we have the S14, I mean, I don't know. I've already talked about all these, but uh, we're gonna be starting on Jeremy's here pretty soon. I think tomorrow we might start ripping into that one. Yeah, it's, and, gonna, uh, it's gonna be some work. Yeah, it's gonna be a <laughs> lot of work, but start tearing into his Civic and do like a budget rods pistons build and just pretty simple stuff so yeah it's not anything crazy but something any of you guys could do to your civic yeah something quick it's gonna be really quick so it's not yeah we want to try to have it done in like a week at least the motor put together and back in the car not yeah. boosted just yet though now it's gonna be all motor for a bit so it doesn't matter as long as it runs and everything's fine it should be good so that's pretty much what has been going on the last three days uh, i'm just gonna post this video because i know a lot of you guys will have withdrawals if we don't so uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed either way, even though we didn't get too much done. 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.